Chicago has a lot of bad things going for it right now. Not only are they like $35 billion short in their pension fund, so the chances of government employees retiring is going to be a little bit difficult, but also they're spending hundreds of millions of dollars on the migrant crisis nonstop. I mean, the city is going broke. They don't even have any more people to tax. The real estate developments are at all time low. We're seeing hedge funds like Guggenheim leaving. We're seeing Citadel, one of the biggest financial institutions in the world, leaving Chicago for Miami. What does Chicago have to offer except high crime, high taxes, and a migrant crisis? They don't have to offer anything. They're done. Many companies are leaving. And check this out. Things are about to get worse because the mayor of Chicago, Brandon Johnson, wants 700,000 more illegal migrants. He wants more migrants in the city. Guys, if you talk to the average Chicago citizen, they don't want this. Booker T. Jones says that she's in the city of Chicago where Brandon Johnson just announced that he could welcome in 700,000 more migrants. Says the city of Chicago has room for about 700,000 more. Guys, Chicago is a city of around 2.1 million people. You're asking for a massive inflow of an extra 33 to 40% of the original population. Have you seen what happened in Denver? They took in just maybe 40,000 migrants and they're basically collapsing. And look at Chicago. They already have 50,000 to 60,000 migrants, maybe heading towards 70,000 migrants very soon. And people aren't happy at all. Look at this. You already have many Chicago citizens literally voting for someone else. Somebody in Chicago, this lady says, the migrant crisis has pushed me over the edge and says she was a lifelong Democrat until she saw what the migrant crisis did to Chicago. She was even rocking a Chicago for Trump hat. And that just shows you how bad the current administration is doing. You know, in Chicago, there's whole entire zip codes where like 97 to 98% of them all voted Democrat. But now you're seeing shades of purple because now you're seeing a lot of Chicago residents are just fed up with the migrant crisis. Here in the city council meeting, they're chanting go red and no more blue, no matter who. Many of Chicago citizens, for example, this lady over here, you can actually watch a lot of her videos on X. She went just crazy in one of these city council meetings, expressing her distaste of the current administration, saying that the administration could spend 200, 300 million dollars and even more than that on the migrant crisis. But the city refuses to spend a single penny on the south side of Chicago or spend a single penny on businesses. Chicago is really buckling right now. And if you look at Mayor Brandon Johnson, he asked President Biden for 500,000 work permits. I'm not even sure Chicago even has the economy anymore to have an extra 500,000 work permits. If you look at Chicago, a lot of the stores in the loop are empty. South side Chicago is violent with crime. As of right now, these migrants cannot work. So when you have like 700,000 people in your city who can't work, how are you supposed to take care of them? This is a very unrealistic number too. So I have no clue what Chicago is doing. Look at New York City. They took in a total of 200,000 people and they're about to go bankrupt. They're spending $10 billion a year. Does Chicago even have that much money? Sure, Chicago is a financial center, but with so many corporations leaving and every single day and the amount of property construction at an all-time low, I don't really know if Chicago has the money for the migrant crisis anymore. Look at this. So far from October 22 to about the new year, we already have the city spending about $200 million on migrant related vendors. And we don't even know the real cost because you don't even know what how much they're spending on the hotels. When asked about how much they're spending on hotels, Chicago is very, very quiet, which could mean that they're spending a lot more than expected. And people are just saying every single day, Chicago should honestly start putting more money in law enforcement and really getting their public safety into order. Chicago saw more robbery victims in 2023 than any other year of the past decade. Arrests also hit a record low. Brandon Johnson has not unveiled a public safety plan, nor signal interest in filling police vacancies. The whole defund the police situation in Chicago is enormous. There's a huge cop shortage. Oh, your store got robbed and ransacked and your home got broken in? Well, too bad. I guess we'll just write you a report and that's it. A lot of people in Chicago, they do shoplifting. They rob stuff. There's a lot of theft. There's a lot of violence. But the cops can't do anything because one, the whole entire city is extremely lax in terms of crime. And two, there's not even a lot... There's not even enough cops to go around. There's already enough violent crime and the cops can't even keep track of all that. And that's what's happening. And no wonder residents are so fed up. City spending millions and nothing's being trickled down to them.
And not to mention, now Chicago wants more migrants. What in the world is Chicago doing? Thanks for watching, guys. Comment below, and see you later.